Republic of Liberia, the National Elections Commission, Madam Chairperson, Madam Co-Chairperson, and members of the Board of Commissioners, our local and international partners, election observers, monitoring groups, members of the Fourth Estate, we'd like to welcome you once again to this daily press briefing following the 10th October 2023 general elections. Madam Chairperson, David Etta Brown Lansenham will address this press briefing. Madam Co Chair, fellow commissioners, distinguished stakeholders, fellow Liberians, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the headquarters of the National Elections Commission and to the Commission's daily press briefings. You are aware that we reported yesterday a rerun of the presidential, senatorial, and representative elections at two polling places in Precinct Bio Lontuo in Electoral District 4 in Nimba County, which will be held tomorrow, 20 October 2023. The Commission wishes to inform you again that all is set for the conduct of these elections. According to the magistrate, the Liberian National Police has already deployed officers to the area. Meanwhile, neck permanent and temporary staff are also being deployed today. Meanwhile, the commission wishes to inform you that there has been seven arrests made so far from the disruption of the counting process in Biolontuo Precinct, Electoral District Number 4, Nimba County. Those arrested are George Josephus, Menwengwe Sieden, Nelson Goma, Gomiete Gomi, Emmanuel Luo, Hanson Cooper, and 
Hakaton Mie. According to the police in Nimba, these individuals have been levied multiple charges ranging from obstruction of government's function, criminal mischief, theft of property, and tampering with public records. Others who were involved with the violent acts are said to be on the run. With regards to the payment of temporary staff, as at today, payrolls for Lower Monserrado, Maryland, River G, Riverses, Lower Lofa, Upper Monserrado, Margibi, Upper Nimba, Lower Nimba, and Grand Jire have been submitted, and payments are being processed for mobile money transfer for temporary staff who worked in these magisterial areas. Temporary staff from the remaining magisterial areas will be processed as soon as the payrolls are submitted. The following are tallied results from the magisterial offices across the country to date. For the presidency, Boyka Joseph N. UP votes obtained 137,622, constituting 59.50%. We are George Manen CDC, votes obtained 50,296, constituting 21.75%. Okay, I will come back there. Gonglo Tiawan say LPP, votes obtained 17,021, constituting 7.36%. These are the results from the presidential elections for Nimba County, 734 polling places of a total of 736 polling places, constituting 99.73%. I'll now move on to Grand Bassa County. We are George Manen, CDC. Votes obtained 46,651, constituting 44.31%. Boyka Joseph N. UP, votes obtained 36,214, constituting 34.40%. Alperton Junior Edward W. G. D. M., votes obtained 5,267 constituting 5.00%. Those were the uh, results for Grand Bassa County, 405 polling places of a total of 405 polling places constituting 100%. Now for Grand Cru County, 110 polling places of a total of 110 polling places constituting 100%. We are George Mane, CDC, votes obtained 24,477, constituting 79.67%. Boyka Joseph N. UP, votes obtained 2,567, constituting 8.36%. Alperton Junior Edward W. G. D. M., votes obtained 1,136 constituting 3.70%. Those were the votes, results for presidential uh, for Grand Cru County. I now read you the National Presidential Progressive Tally Reports consolidated. 5,888 polling places of a total of 5,890 polling places, constituting 99.97%. Alperton Junior Edward W. G. D. M. votes obtained 40,262, constituting 2.20%. Boyka Joseph N. U. P. votes obtained 796,513, constituting 43.34%. Brown Junior Allen Ara, LRP, votes obtained 15,602, constituting 0.85%. Cummings Alexander B, CPP, 
Votes obtained, 29,612, constituting 1.61%. Freeman Simeon C. M. MPC, votes obtained, 13,198, constituting 0.72%. Gonglo Tiawan C. LPP, votes obtained, 26,391, constituting 1.44%. Kamara Senior Lucini F. Alcup, votes obtained, 35,984, constituting 1.96%. Kiamu David GB, DPPL, votes obtained, 5,084, constituting 0.28%. Colley Alexander N. R. N. C. Votes obtained 4,398, constituting 0.24%. Kuyate Shek A. L. F. M. Votes obtained 5,097, constituting 0.28%. Chroma Bendu Alema Independent. Votes obtained 5,979, constituting 0.33%. Miller Richard Say, LFP, votes obtained 2,878, constituting 0.16%. Moniba Clarence K, Lino, votes obtained 5,298, constituting 0.29%. Morris Robert Friends, Independent, votes obtained 3,361, constituting 0.18%. Nyanti Sira Beslo, all, votes obtained 3,643, constituting 0.20%. Tweeter William Weir, DNA, votes obtained 11,183, constituting 0.61%. Turner Joseph Tom, NLP, votes obtained 9,812, constituting 0.54%. We are George Manning, CDC, votes obtained 803,956, constituting 43.84%. Wapo Jeremiah Z, vote, votes obtained 9,146 constituting 0.50%. Yoffi Luther N. Rebuilders, votes obtained 6,478, constituting 0.35%. Total valid votes, 1,833,875, constituting 100%. Total invalid votes, 114,610. Total votes, 1,948,485. And that ends the National Presidential Progressive Tally Report Consolidated. I now invite my colleague, Commissioner Awa, to read senatorial and representative results. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I will be reading for you the reports reference Nimba County, Electoral District 4 and 9, and also the Senate. We commenced with the Senate. Progressive Salad Report Consolidated. Senate, Thursday, October 19. Nimba County. 734 polling places of the total of 736 polling places constituting 99.73%. Yoming Prince Johnson, MDR, votes obtained 127,854 constituting a valid vote of 54.83%. Tawen Junior Yang, independent, votes obtained 56,000, 
632, constituting the valid votes of 24.29%. G. Roland Duo, CDC, votes obtained 19,991, constituting the valid votes of 8.6%. Five-seven percent. That concludes the Senate for Nimba County. We proceed to the House of Representatives, reference district number four. Kagon Gompu L C D C votes obtained seven thousand five hundred and eighty-five constituting the valid votes of 28.93%. Mencier Senior Ernest M. MDR, votes obtained 7,325, constituting the valid votes of 27.94%. Wanu Orlando M. NDC, votes obtained 2,036, constituting the valid votes of 7.77%. We proceed to Electoral District 9, Nima County. 75 polling places of the total of 75 polling places, constituting 100%. Wongwe Ta Ze, independent, votes obtained 6,000, 538, constituting the valid votes of 29.50%. Guacolo Johnson and CDC, votes obtained 4,209, constituting the valid votes of 18.99%. Dekba Gombe O, MDR, votes obtained 3,000 and 55, constituting the valid votes of 13.78%. And that concludes the reading for Nima County Electoral District and Electoral District and um, four and nine. And for the Senate, Madam Chair, I do this submit. Thank you, Commissioner. We now call on We now, we now invite Commissioner Sayer to read uh, the Senate and representative elections. Results, I'm sorry. We are done with Senate for Senate yesterday with, with Ms. Rado, so representative. Ms. Rado County, Electoral District 2. 128 polling places out of 128 polling places reporting, 100%. Seku Sarafunde Kane, UP, votes at 9,965, constituting 22.36%. Nimnen Doyen J, independent, votes at 9,432 constituting 21.17%. Musa A. Sharif, NDP, votes at 7,502, constituting 16.83%. Electoral District 3, Maserado County. 106 polling places out of 106 polling places, constituting 100%. Sumo Kali Mobile, ALP, votes at 8,979, constituting 23.89%. Patrick Kumaya, independent, votes at 6,997, constituting 18.61%. CB Bachel, UP, Votes obtained 
5,987, constituting 15.93 percent. Those are the reports, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm assuming how to work this thing is so very powerful. Thank you very much, Commissioner. And I invite Commissioner Gay, who will read Senate and Representative results. Four hundred five polling places of the total four hundred five polling places, one hundred percent. Finlay Bezonga M independent votes obtained fifty five thousand six hundred twenty nine percent fifty two point two four. Bagbe Janje C D C votes obtained twenty five thousand. 384%, 23.84. Harris Magdalene G. Independent, first attain 12,396, percent 11.64. That was for Senate. We'll go to Electoral District 2, Grand Bassa County. At the four polling places, of the total 84 polling places, 100%. Banks J. Clarence T. Independent, votes obtained 5,486 percent, 28.23. Carol Mary M. CDC, votes obtained 4,870 percent, 25.06. Down South Thompson B. Ninum, votes obtain 1,608%, we we'll go to Grand Basel County, District number 5. 78 polling places of the total 78 polling places, 100%. Goshual the second Thomas A. CPP, votes obtain 4,292 percent, 22.63. Dennis C. S. U. P. First attain 4,243 percent, 22.37. Barney Ben D. S. C. D. C. First attain 3,745 percent. 19.75. Madam Chair, that concludes uh, Grand Bass account. Thank you, Commissioner. We now invite um, Commissioner Basi Kwangmai for the Senate and Representative results from Grand Cru County. Progressive tally report consolidated Senate. 110 polling places of the total of 110 polling places, 100%. Grand Cru County. Chie Abo Tube, CDC. Vote obtained 25,861, 25861, 82.55%. Do Vincento, CPP. Vote obtained 5,465, 5465. 17.45 percent are in the Senate. Move to electoral district number one. 53 polling places of the total of 53 polling places, 100 percent. Electoral district number one. Bawe Senior Natania and CPP vote obtained 3,039, 3,039. 19.90%. Bo Afre Sako Independent, vote obtained 2,728, 2,728, 17.86%. Wilson 
Freckles LTP, vote of 10, 2,310. 2310, 15.13%. That ends Grand Cru County, Madam Chair. My oversight. Thank you very much, uh, Commissioner Wang Mai. Let me say that uh, we will continue to update results as they become available for the remaining counties and remaining positions. However, the rerun in District 4 in Nimba County in the two polling places in Precinct Bell Lonto will be counted, tallied, and collated before the announcement of the final outcome of the presidential, senatorial, and representative elections of the 10th October 2023 process. And now we'll take your questions. So today we take five. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Madam Commissioner, for the hard work thus far. Uh, my name is Achid Boan, and I report for Today Labrador Television. Madam Commissioner, with uh, all of those mistakes and technical errors we have been observing uh, since the pronouncement of provisional and progressive tally reports uh, for the general and presidential elections, now that um, it is glaring that there is a possible second round or, or rerun in the presidential election. What assurance can you give the Labrador people uh, to avoid those mistakes uh, that were in the past? I don't know what mistakes you are referring to, but I can generally say that the commission will announce the final outcome of these elections when we conduct the elections in the two polling places and the results are made available through counting, tallying, and collation. Yeah, the, some of the mistakes uh, I was like trying to reference was um, the fact that there are so many allegations that those are uh, assigned to serve as pool of uh, NEC staffers, the ES, POS, many of them were like, uh, people claims that they were one way or the other members of certain political party. Like the case in Grand Cayman County, where uh, 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 ES and election supervisor was arrested, uh, were arrested sorry, for changing of election results. The, the, the fact of so many technical errors from the website of NEC, they delayed in coming to pronounce provisional results by the national election. These are all errors that are major errors that we observe during the first time. So this is why I'm saying that, you know, uh, the assurance from the National Election Commission. So I just want to get reference to this error you... All you right. Thank you so much. We assure you that we are on top of it. Well, thank you, Madam Commissioner. My name is Aisha Niba, and I report for KMTV. Uh, beginning with Nimba County, uh, listen to you, you, you came up with 137,622 in favor of the Unity Party constituting 59.50%. But then you later came on to the CDC and I heard you saying, oh, you're going to come back uh, like you notice an error when you were reading. So uh, I beg you, can you please come back to that? Yes, because I was... Uh notified that I should have began with the number of polling places, which is usually at the top. But uh, I'm a human, so unintentional. That was skipped, and I started to read the results. So when I was informed, I said I will come back to it. And I came back to it at the end. Nothing changed in anyone's votes or percentage. It's just that I did not start with where we normally begin. Yes, so my name is Alex Atolami. I report for the University of Liberia Radio. Madam Chairperson, now that the police has reported to you that arrests have been made in connection to the incident in District 4 in Nima County, did the investigation also establish as to which party or which candidate supporters carried out the act? 
we don't have that information. Madam Chair, <clears throat> my name is Omisi Johnson. I work with a local media organization, the Media and Women's Human Rights. We've been working in Electoral District 5 in Bonn. We are again there this year. I do not want to preempt until following your pronouncement, but there are indicators that a runoff is imminent in that direction. The experience of the huge invalid votes. You also agree with me that one of the factors is insufficient civic voter education. So to address that, I'm appealing or suggesting to NEC on behalf of CSO and CBOs and also our target audience who are majority indigenous women, the invalid votes. Can NEC make the invalid votes available to CSOs, CVOs, including the media, so that we begin civil voter education in advance while we are waiting for the final pronouncement from NEC? The conclusion of these elections, we normally have lessons learned, but we also put in place a mechanism where a survey, uh, a survey is done to determine the causes of the invalid votes. This we have run before and we plan to do at the end of these elections. Last question. Thank you, Madam Chair. My name is Gerald Koinen. I write for Front Page Africa News Organization. You uh, name three counties that have already completed, Bassa, Maserado, Grand Cru counties, but you didn't declare winners today. I don't know why, and could you That please will be done in our yeah, next report, declare sir. Winner. And then, it is eminent, uh, there will be the runoff. We have uh, just two polling places, 99%. Uh, we want to know, what is the budget for a runoff, and how prepared is the commission in uh, uh, generating this budget to conduct the runoff within the constitutional time frame? I will need to look at the budget to know what is in there for the runoff. It's not in front of me, but I can assure you we have received more than 99.9% .9 of the money to run if there should be a runoff. Thank you very much for coming. See you thank, tomorrow. Thank you very much, everyone, and tomorrow will be here again. Thank you for coming, members of the Fourth Estate. Thank you very much again.